say you left the field like this completely alone. Yes, if the trees, which is happening anyway, if you look at the edge, the edge of that uh, woodland is it's stepping in. And we have, you know, already regeneration here of willow. But this is grazed that my ponies come in here, so it doesn't get a chance. But I could allow this to completely close in. Um, but, but slowly, the, yeah, this field is, would become a woodland. Absolutely, that biodiversity would come in here, but not if it's grazed, no. you know. But like what time scale would it take? Have you an idea based on other places? For this? Like leave a field like this alone? Of course you have deer. I'd say 10 years. 10 years. I'd say 10 years. Well, you can see the deer paths. And even with the deer pressure here. Yeah, I, I think it could still happen that eventually like this has made it despite the deer pressure and, uh, and cattle and horses. But if you did fence it off completely, it would obviously come back. Probably more species would come in. If you left it just for the deer, it would be mostly, I'd say willow with some alder and maybe birch. I discovered the deer don't, don't really uh, bother with them. Hazel is regenerating. Actually, hazel would come in here and hazel's not uh, affected as much by deer. So they they would browse it, but, but it's it very browse, resi yeah. resilient. Resilient. And it puts out so much branches and uh -huh. you know, that it can handle it. So, I mean, the other tree that would come in is a hawthorn and I am getting hawthorn regeneration. They're also not affected by deer and possibly holly. And this again is an example of the, the woodland stepping into the field. These are not planted and they've survived, you know, browsing again. And you see the bramble following, using the structure of the trees to also piggyback and come in. You know, the bramble is excellent for wildlife. It's fruit, it's cover. Has the bramble an important function in, in uh, succession and natural regeneration? It does have an important part to play. Nature never wants to leave the ground um, bare to protect the soil. But would natural regeneration come through that easily? Well, if left alone, it would eventually, yeah, because um, with the bramble for protection. The deer never went near it. The birch can get up through it. The hawthorn can also come up through it. The willow will get up through it. As they create canopy, the bramble will move to where there's more light. And then the area is ready for oak. And the hawthorn will you know, protect the oak in the same way. And eventually the oak will get up. And the pioneers have done their job. You have a beautiful uh, seed source around now here for that to happen. Yes. But, but what if you wouldn't have that? It, it would be a longer process. It would be a longer process. And yeah. So I've created seed sources. Yeah, if I, if I walked away now. <laughs> have you plans? <laughs> Escape. Um, and left this alone. Yeah, there's enough seed source. Plus the woodland animals are in. The, the red squirrel is here. And the jay, a pair of jays are nesting. The jay is the planter of the oak like the, and the squirrel. The jay carries seven acorns in its, in its neck without swallowing. And That's then amazing, it, huh? It is, yeah. And then it regurgitates them to, to bury them for winter food and then forgets like the squirrel. Forgets and they, they give you natural regeneration of oak. But the fact they're here they, they like dense woodland, you know, they're kind of shy. So, they, so that's, that's now achieved within 15 year period. I'm not getting acorns yet, but I will soon. I could walk away and it will continue to regenerate and it'll do it quicker because the seed trees are here. Uh -huh. I mean, the focus, also your focus is of course on, on planting. Well, it is, but if you don't have enough seed source around you, you're limited on this bare rushy land and to create a model uh -huh. to show okay planting is one way of doing it but ideally natural regeneration gives you the right tree in the right place there's no doubt watch this wall series with andrew st ledger about native woodland and trees on the farm on the channel kelt a local charity with whom i'm working with click on the playlist link in the description
or end screen and also subscribing there. Thanks a million.